Good afternoon and welcome to the Sailplane Grand Prix. Um, we thought what we'd do is to take a look at the three different types of glider uh, that are competing in this competition this week. We've had lots of questions asking, is one better than another? So who better to ask than actually the pilots? So uh, I've got Tom with me, uh, who's flying an ASG-29. And Tom, uh, can you tell us uh, what the subtle differences are with the 29 in the climb, uh, in the run, and the manoeuvrability? Well, um, last World Championships in Leshno, I flew a JS-1. I own a 29 at home, and uh, now I'm flying a, a 29 again. And all three gliders are similar. Uh, compared to the Ventus, I've always thought the 29 cruises a little bit better. Maybe doesn't climb quite as good, but the differences are very, very tiny. The JS-1, I always thought the same. However, the new Evo tips are possibly equalised things. I think that uh, with the Evo tips, the JS-1 is cruising with the, uh, the 29 and there's nothing in the climb. I think uh, the gliders are all very close, but if I had to bet on anything, I'd say maybe the new Evo is the tiniest bit better. But that could be half a turn in, in one thermal during the entire race. And if we go to the end of the wing here and look at the, the wing tip, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on at this end of the wing? Well, this is the old traditional style wingtip. Um, it's very similar to the American wingtip they put on um, Boeing uh, 737s and uh, 767s. So it's got just a, a flow up around the tip and then a, a very conventional wingtip to stop the, uh, as the... There's always an outward flow under the wing and hopefully the air then pushes against the, the winglet and uh, gives you a little bit more uh, upward thrust and takes away some of the vortice. Uh, we've wandered a little further back down the grid and we've found Christophe Rouge from France uh, who's flying a JS-1. Uh, so we'll have a quick chat with uh, uh, Christophe and ask him about a few of the differences with the JS-1, uh, the wing and also there's a couple of little strange features at the back here. Can you, uh, could you show us what, what, what is all of this going on here? Um, in fact the JS-1's got a garage for the bug wipers, the other gliders got the bug wipers on the wings and uh, on the JS-1 the bug wipers are inside the fuselage so there's no... Um, um, uh, it's better for the air flowing around the fuselage. So the aerodynamics are a little better in this area? Exactly, and there's also an exhaust on the top of the fuselage uh, to let the air uh, go out of the glider. And where does the air come in, if it's going out there? Uh, it's coming from the ventilation here in the front and uh, also from the side. And take, a, take a look at uh, how this part of the wing, the, the kinks here, change. Exactly. Uh, this one is a GS1 EVO with uh, the new wingtips. Uh, the old uh, wingtips uh, are not as aerodynamic as this one and these are the new winglets uh, EVO. Great, we've come a little bit further down the grid and um, we've got Tilo with us and we're looking at the Ventus this time to try and see if we can find the subtle differences uh, between the other two gliders. So Tilo, um, there's a couple of little things that are different with the Ventus. Uh, and one of the most obvious ones is the is the canopy. Can you show us how that works? Yeah, well, the canopy opens to the side. Uh, this is quite typical for a Schimpert glider, and uh, uh, it, it's a very simple uh, design, and we like uh, simple designs because they operate in a daily practice uh, uh, very well. It's light, and it has well one big advantage um, in case of an emergency. The bailing out is very simple because you simply uh, use the same handle as you always use. You don't have to uh, uh, think twice, uh, what do I have to do different in an emergency case. We have a tilt-up instrument panel, um, as you can see here, so it's which gives you uh, the freedom to, to get the legs out. So we consider it as a, as a very safe uh, um, way uh, to, to bail out in the case of an emergency. But in terms of performance, there's no difference between a lift-up canopy or a, a side-opening canopy? Well, I mean, the ceiling of the canopy, which is hinged on the side, uh, is of course easy to uh, to do. So there might be a little uh, uh, advantage, but actually in practice, no, there's no difference. And your glider has uh, an electric uh, fez uh, motor uh, with the blades that are folded back uh, along the side of the fuselage. Um, and there's a big question as to whether this is a, an advantage or a disadvantage. 
Yeah, that's in fact a big question. I was asking myself uh, also. Here, I must say, the, in the comparison, I really tried hard to find a difference, but I was amazed uh, uh, not to see anything. I mean, the, you cannot hear any difference in noise, so uh, there seems to be no perturbation there. Um, and also in the in the final glide, uh, when I, fl I was flying once, with um, I was looking at the um, at around 200 kilometers per hour. I was looking um, on on the on the flarm, and I could see that this distance always uh, stayed the same to the ones who were uh, succeeding me so um, it's it's difficult to say psychologically of course it's bad because you know there's something different than it ought to be um, on the other side psychologically it can be also good because especially here in this uh, in this difficult uh, terrain we are flying um, having the fast which is of course the, uh, the the safest and the most easier to operate uh, um, uh, means of, of uh, um, of engine, uh, you may have the advantage that you just fly uh, a bit more relaxed uh, than others who have to uh, rely on a combustion engine, uh, which of course takes much longer until you have it uh, out. And we'll just go and have a look uh, down the end of the wing because you've got a new uh, wing tip. That's right. Yeah, we have uh, developed a, a new winglet um, together with uh, Mark Mormer, uh, who is a specialist in uh, in, in winglet uh, making. And this new winglet, um, I just put it on uh, a week before uh, um, the, the, the contest. Maybe if you look from, from this side, you can see it has much more uh, aspect ratio. It is uh, thinner, it has less uh, wetted area. So it is designed uh, especially for, for higher speeds. It still works uh, fantastic. I would say it even works a little bit back better, at least you have a bit more uh, aileron control. The seems the outer part of the wing tip works even better so I'm very happy with the winglet and of course at high speed it, it offers you um, uh, the reduction of, um, um, of drag by having less wetted area. Fantastic, thank you very much indeed. Um, so there is a look at all of the three different types of glider uh, that we have here at this competition. It doesn't seem to be a great deal in it but lots and lots of little subtle differences between them. Uh, we'll bring you more technical tips and updates next time on the Sailplane Grand Prix.